Our Jenny Brunovich tonight explains how his post and cell phone could now hopefully finally get him caught. Jenny. Yeah, Andrea, such a disturbing case. You know, I talked to experts today who train police and work with them on how to hunt down fugitives through technology like your cell phone. They say this is likely how Steve Stevens will be caught. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to try to kill as many people as I can. It's a stunning act of public violence. A man accused of murdering a stranger on the street, then posting the video to Facebook. I saw me somebody about to kill. I'm going to kill this guy right here. Police say on Easter Sunday in Cleveland, 37-year-old Steve Stevens executed an innocent man, targeted the 74-year-old at random. Experts say by sharing this horrific act, Stevens also exposed a dark side to social media. I want to kill someone. How do I have the largest impact? It's out there. They see the attraction. They're getting the attention. And in some cases, that's the motivation for doing this. And we have the big boy right here. Trayvon and I. There is a lot of social media video of Stevens, including this, which allegedly shows him practicing be back at, the gun range. at a gun range. But that use of social media and technology could also be Stevens' undoing. So even the most technical people make mistakes. Uh, my expectation that he's made many already. Dog. Discord, Especially Discord, if he's on his Discord, phone, Discord, taking Discord, photos, again. using Facebook again. There's always that possibility that the geolocation information is going to be there. Plus, every time you connect to Facebook, Facebook does have that ability to find out where that came from. So we're asking him to turn himself in. Uh, we've brought everything to bear on this from our federal partners, our state and local partners. On day two of a very aggressive manhunt, police and the FBI expanded their search to other states, including Indiana. They say everyone should be on alert. Federal law enforcement did say Stephen's phone pinged today in Erie, Pennsylvania. Dr. Marcus Rogers trains police on how to hunt people down using technology. He says these days it's virtually impossible to stay invisible. The more technology is used, the more this individual actually communicates, the higher the probability this person will be caught and caught soon. And it's not just technology. It's what Stevens did with this phone that will likely help catch him. He put his own face all over social media, and now it is all over the country. So is the description of his car. Now, police today pleaded with people who know this guy to help get him to turn himself in. Again, no word exactly where he is. If you do spot him, he is considered armed and dangerous. Police say call 911 right away. Now, Scary. he has been communicating with people. Yes. Why is it? not easy just to find out where he is based on triangulating where his cell phone is used. Well, experts tell me they do do that, that they can triangulate and ping his phone. However, a lot of times it takes time because police have to work through the law. A lot of times they have to get court orders in order to get that information from the cell phone company. And by that time, he could be somewhere else. That's true. He's still on the move. All right. Thank you. Jenny Ronnie.